Jordy Dredd, same old, same old. Can't score a goal, creating beautiful chances. Just can't finish them. Players looking tired, looking absolutely wanked. Squad they think big enough. But we still keep the faith. It's still a good season, great season. It's a bit of a diner recently, but it is what it is. Spurs lost today, that's a good thing. Some teams are behind us creeping in. The likes of Liverpool, Liverpool, Brighton, the Brentfords, Fulhams, etc. But we still got a game. In hand or a game or two compared to other teams but it is what it is still a great season but if I'm being honest with you usually any any hub does his thing you get what I'm saying we back him but we've got to see as it is sometimes everyone's got different opinions but I've been falling back when it comes to certain selections but for this game I'm I wasn't I wasn't happy with any selection didn't really make sense to me. Maxi's kind of coming back with a bit of confidence. I thought he would have started. Hell yeah, I thought Isaac would have started. Isaac had to start today. Had to. But Wilson started again. He's looking sluggish. Powerful. And he's loyal to him. I was shocked that he started him. I was shocked in the cup final. But I thought, okay. But for this game... I said, nah, Isaac has to start, Maxi has to start, but it weren't to be. It's nice to see Anthony get his start, because obviously he's been waiting for a while to get his start, and he, he got to certain pockets, like certain times when we tried to create chances for him to run into. That first chance that he had when he miskicked the ball, I said, yep, yeah, it's going to be one of them days. But you know what? Big up to Jamal Lascelles as well, because when I saw him on the team sheet, I said, hell no, it's going to be a long day. But for me, just my opinion, I think he was our best player today for us. But yeah, man, we're creating chances, but it's just not clinical. Joe Linton chance, the Wilson one, that Wilson chance. You just, yeah, you can just tell that's a man that's not on form. Like, it just wasn't happening today. City are City. Foden's goal kind of pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. Like, he just kind of drove in. Small little guy. It's like, players were just letting him run in. Then before you know it, there's five guys around him. Still managed to get through and score. I was a bit irritated that we couldn't keep the ball. Obviously, it's Man City. Like, they're just high pressure, non-stop. So, they're good at that. Like, it's Man City. Like, it's not a shock that we lost. But, the fact we created chances, couldn't keep the ball... There was moments where we had no pressure on us. We were just literally giving the ball away. Like all the time, just giving it away. So that really frustrated me and pissed me off. But overall, like I said, I just feel like it's not the end of the world. End of the world. It's not like we played bad. We're still progressing. I can see where we're heading. But for me, the players are looking tired now. They're dropping all over the place. The squad depth is getting tested. But we've got what 14, 15 games left. 14 now, I think. It's like a cup for each game a cup final for us. Top 48 out the window. I don't believe that. But it is what it is. If you finish seventh, I'll be dis disappointed. Not angry. Disappointed. But top seven, as everyone says, compared to before a year ago. That's a decent finish. But it's disappointing when you're up there for so long. Then you start crumbling a bit. Or the squad they think strong enough but we got what we got and got to keep training on our training pitch keep coaching and we've got to finish those chances man that's all it is then the game's different but anyway i'm a bit low after that game but it's just frustrating that we had chances one we should have put away long staff was a bit unlucky with that one I think it was Aki or Kanji, the last ditches of tackles, but yeah. Gotta do better, man. I don't, next game has to be Isaac and say Maxi starting. For me. Love to know your opinions anyway. Is what it is. On to the next. Julie Dread, as usual, I always say, appreciate the likes and subscribes. Do this for you. Peace.